Let's take a look at how you can manage your account information in the platform. We'll first look at how to do this in the portal and then in the app. Perhaps the most common problem we see is users struggling with their passwords. Now, recovering a lost password is easy. You can just go to the login page of the portal in mWater or Solstice or in the app and enter your email address and then select forgot password. This will email you a link where which you can use to reset your password. For all other account management actions, you can go to the portal, log in, select your username from the top right, and then select My Account. This will bring you to the account page, which is split into a top section and a bottom section. In the top section, you can first of all read mWaters and Solstice's Terms of Service and then you can change any account information. You can change the name, so your given and family names, your username, your email, or your password. Now, please note that the username has to be unique so if you're changing it, you have to change it to a username that's not already taken up in the system. The same is the case with your email address. Note also that email addresses are case sensitive, meaning that capitalization matters. The second section of the account page looks at the data that the system has about your user account. First, you can read mWaters and Solstice's privacy policy and it's important to note that any data that you collect is completely owned by you or the organization you collected for. It's never to be sold or shared with a third party. However, you are free to share this data using the features available in mWater. You can read our data security policy here as well. These sections of the account page show you what data about your user activity has been collected by the platform. This includes survey responses that you have submitted, sites that you have created, the IP addresses of devices, which are tracked to mitigate and prevent unauthorized use or cyber abuse such as DDoS attacks, distributed denial of service. You'll also be able to see surveys that have been deployed to you as well as various user events such as survey changes or site changes which are tracked to be able to identify issues better. Now, according to GDPR legislation with which mWater and Solstice are compliant, you can request the removal of all of this information that pertains to your activity in the platform just by clicking this button, which will start the process to delete your account and remove personal data. This will wipe out all of this personal data and remove your account permanently but it will not impact the data that you have collected. So any of the site information and the survey information that you've collected through surveys and through fieldwork will not be removed. However, the account will be permanently removed. So take care when using this option. And these are the options available in the portal. If we now look at the app, we can see how to edit account information there as well. Similarly, when logging in, you can request for a password reset, log in, and in the app, if you want to adjust your account information, you can just navigate to the settings tab and then select the my account pane. Here by tapping into the fields you can also change your name, username, email and password. And that's all there is to user management and account management in mWater and Solstice.